Hey, what's up, UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here today in front of the UHS headquarters. Got myself this 2019 Dodge Challenger using the IM508 from Autel as well as the XP400. I'm gonna generate a new universal key from Autel as well, and then use the advanced diagnostics bypass cable with the start connector to connect to the inside of this vehicle. I'm gonna get this done today with a little help from my friend, Maytar. We're gonna go ahead and get in here, get it done, come with us, let's see how it's done. Let's go. Before continuing, remove the emergency key base and use a common screwdriver to carefully pry open the remote and insert a new battery. Place the new remote into the XP400 programming coil with the top facing down and connect it to the IM508 using a USB device cable. When ready, select Universal Remote and accept the usage permissions to begin. Alright, now we have a few options. We can check what key is uh, generated already on the key if we already used it we can adjust the buttons if we program the key and one of the buttons doesn't work we can adjust it um, for example over here we can change the remote start with the trunk or for example if it's uh, only four buttons we can change the trunk to be remote start and vice versa for all the other ones for van for the doors and you know everything that comes with it so we're gonna do the universal key generation because we're gonna make a brand new one we're gonna go to North America. We're gonna choose Dodge. We are in Dodge Challenger 19. So we're gonna go by all remotes, gonna give us all the options of Dodge. Type by model, it's gonna be by the car. Challenger. And we're gonna choose 19. Over here we have three options. The options that we need for this car are gonna be this one because it's for a chip and we're gonna generate universal key the key is supposed to be positioned like this with the heads down we can see on the green light it starts working takes about half a minute to generate the key we can do it with the XP400 we can also do it with the, IM, with the KM100 if we choose to two options on the screen. One is to complete the process or the other one is continue generating another key from the same kind. We need only one so we're gonna complete it. Now we wanna make sure this is actually burn it and did everything correct. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna check that the key was generated correctly. We're going to do universal key information detection. And we're going to read. The chip is Hitage AES, like we're supposed to have for a Hitage AES. And that's all we need to know. I don't think we need to take anything of this. No? This comes out pretty easy? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's see. Okay. I can go ahead or you need to see me? You can go ahead. Okay. Alright, we connected over there. Okay, so demo. Accept. I'm gonna go to Dodge. I'm gonna do manual selection of America. And we're gonna go to Challenger. 2019 to 21. Smart key. Okay. So basically what it's telling me over here that we can use AutoAuth. This is a service that Autel give to read PIN code from Dodge, Chrysler and Jeep, 19 and up. Um, this time we actually connect the star connector, so we're gonna hit change to choose optional connections. It's basically the star connector, and this is the via AutoAuth. This is the Autel service that not required the uh, star connector. So optional connections. 
Here you're telling us basically that we need to connect the 12 by 8 cable. We have it already connected like we showed earlier. Now we're gonna go to control unit. We're gonna read the mobile or password. Now we're gonna tell us turn the ignition off. We're gonna turn it off. Hazard on. And that's it. Now it's communicate, communicate with the vehicle. It can take a little bit of time. In the end of the process, we're gonna have the password to program the key. So this is the password for the programming. I will always recommend to take a photo with the phone, just in case. We spend some time on it, we don't wanna spend more time. Okay, after we have the password, you can go to kill the system. And we're gonna go to kill earning, kill earning. Now, all right. It's telling us to make sure the ignition is off, that all the wireless devices are out of the car. Even if we don't wanna just add a key, it's gonna do all key lost for the car. Basically what's gonna happen, it's gonna delete all the keys from the system, and then read the password. We confirm it. And we're gonna click yes. Hold the proximity key next to the center console, next to the push to start button or the shift and complete the process with 60 seconds. So we're gonna click OK. Now, press and release the unlock button twice on the proximity key. All right. We hear the car locked and unlocked. Now we're just waiting for the 60 seconds to end to add another key. Okay, after the process is finished, we're gonna receive that one key was being programmed. Do you want to run the next key? Yes. Well, the same with the new key. Now we wait. All right, like you see, current number of keys is three. Learning successful. Do you want to learn next key? No, we don't. Now, very important, before we're doing anything, we're gonna go out of the system completely. All the way out. And only after we went out of the system, we're gonna check the key. Like you see, the key is working. Now we're gonna disconnect everything and try to start it on. After we disconnect everything, we can make sure that everything is working. This is the new key of Autel, universal key. It's unlocked. Lock. And the car is turning on. Now let's check all the button configuration. Just like that, as always with an Autel IM508, the job was simple, easy, and completed with no hassle. 
Using the XP400, we were able to generate a key, which made it easy for us to get the I key ready and all the jobs done at once without having to go far and look for items. I recommend this fully for anybody who wants to get the job done when they need it without too much hassle. Any of these auto items can be found down below in our description, as well as the link to the KM100, which is a all-in-one kit that has within it the ability to generate as well as program keys to vehicles like we did today. Make sure you check all that out at uhs-hardware.com. Thank you for coming along and watching our videos. Make sure you like and subscribe and click the bell icon so as soon as a new video comes out, you'll be the first to know. Make sure that you drop below a comment or any kind of desire or thoughts that you have. We want to hear from you guys. This has once again been a really awesome video to make. Can't do it without you guys. Thanks for coming by. I'm Louie. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. We're UHS Hardware, the number one wholesaler of locksmith and security supplies.